Welcome to WP Mat. In this video, we are going to learn about switch control of Elements Kit Widget Builder. In order to show you how switch control work, I will use this design from CodePan. In this design, we have a heading, date, contact, paragraph, and example. This is a kind of tutorial or document type of content. In here, in this black background, we have an example of a code. We want to show this part depending on the user willing. What basically I want to show you here is that if the switch is on, this part will appear, otherwise this part won't show. Let me show you in detail. Here in the top you can see we have event show double underscore yes. But if I remove the yes, you will notice that the example part is not visible anymore. And what if I write yes here, this example part again come back. In here, using switch control, the user can easily maintain the hide and show features. Let's see how to do this. Go to your dashboard, elements kit, which is builder. Click add new. And now, let's give a name of our widget. We'll give the name as code block and keeping the widget icon as it is. And now, we have to copy all of our HTML from CodePan and paste it into our HTML tab. Now, let's copy all of our CSS and paste it into our CSS tab. Save it. Now open any page with Elementor Page Builder and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, you will find your widget code block in the group of basic category. Drag and drop the widget on your page and you will see the design. Now we want to make this example part flexible and completely dependent on the user wish. Go back to your dashboard. Now take a new control name switch. Now let's see the options. In here, we need to provide a title name. I'm giving the title name as settings. And in the left side, you'll find a label. I'll write the label name, show example. Let's change the name as switch example. And there you'll find some other options like label on, label off, return value, and default value. When the switch is on, it will return yes, and when the switch is off, it will return no. And the default value is yes. That means by default, the switch will be on. Now, go to HTML tab, and there you'll find a new variable named switcher example. This variable name changes according to the name of the control. And this variable contains the return value of the switch control. In this widget, the example part is appearing depending on the suffix part of event show class. Now, let's remove this suffix yes and apply this variable. Let's set the widget, go to the font page, and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, Click on your widget and you can see by default our switch is on. Let's turn it off and we can see we don't have an example now. You can use it in many different examples you want but this is the basic concept. Thank you for watching this video.